So, Samsung and Xiaomi recently launched their latest and greatest folding phones, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Mix Fold 2. Both are arguably one of the best folding phones out there. But um, which one is better, Samsung or Xiaomi? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Mr. Fantastic here. I'm gonna break this comparison down into five different sections, starting at number one, design and build. Samsung just straight away reused the Fold 3's design from last year and it's not particularly too impressive but the Mix Fold 2 it looks absolutely ridiculous in my opinion like who the heck even designed this but still there are people who like this so I'll leave it up to you guys but as for the build both have the Gorilla Glass Victus on their backs the Z Fold 4 has something called armor aluminum frame instead of the regular aluminum frame on the Mix Fold 2 but I don't know if it's anything different. However, where both of these do get different is in the hinge department. The Mix Fold 2 is much slimmer, but its hinge can't be opened at an angle like with the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and it isn't as sturdy, which gives Samsung a huge advantage because that feature is really useful. You can kind of use it like a tiny laptop or a tripod which stands on its own, which is so convenient for or video calls or taking pictures. Not only that, the Z Fold 4 also has IPX8 war resistance and with all those moving parts inside, having war resistance is kind of like a big deal for a folding phone. So in this round, I'll give it to Samsung. Now number two, displays. Both of them have 120Hz AMOLED displays and both their folding displays use the ultra thin glass technology. The Z Fold 4 has a 6.2 inch curved display and a 7.6 inch folding display but the Mix Fold 2 has a bigger 6.56 inch curved display and a huge 8 inch inner display which basically makes it a tablet giving it a clear advantage over the Z Fold 4. However, the Mix Fold 2 does not have a selfie camera. Yeah, it doesn't have a selfie camera on the folding display while Samsung has one hiding under the display even though its quality isn't that impressive. It is still much much better to have a camera on the folding display rather than not having one at all because even though most people won't be taking pictures using it, a lot of them will be taking video calls with it like zoom meetings or just general video calls especially using that flex mode which makes it super duper convenient. Convenient. So I don't know about you but having a selfie camera is much better than having a big display with no selfie camera at all but still let's call it a draw. Now let's talk about number 3 cameras. Both have 50 megapixel main cameras however the one on the Z Fold 4 is bigger than the Xiaomi which would result in better low light performance and more depth of field. Samsung also has a better 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3 times optical zoom while on the other hand Xiaomi has an 8 megapixel one with just 2x optical zoom and Samsung also has a wider 12 megapixel auto wide camera than the 13 megapixel one on the Xiaomi giving another round to Samsung. Number 4 Specs Both have the exact same 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of base internal storage and also the latest and greatest Snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 but as for the batteries both are almost identical too with 4400 mAh on Samsung and 4500 mAh on Xiaomi but Xiaomi has a much much faster 67 watt fast charging as compared to Samsung's 25 watt charging but Samsung also has a much more superior and secure side mounted fingerprint scanner which doubles as a power button instead of the in display optical fingerprint scanner on the Xiaomi. Not to forget that the Z Fold 4 is also compatible with the S Pen which let me tell you is a really big thing if you sign a lot of documents or use to draw or you know take notes so I'll give a slight edge to Samsung in this round. And last but certainly not the least at number 5 we have software. 
Now clearly, Samsung has much more collaboration with brands like Google, Instagram, Microsoft, etc. which makes the Z Fold 4 much more optimized to work with a lot more apps and use the functionality of the folding mechanism and get the most out of it and Xiaomi does not have any of that which is a really big deal because why the heck would you buy a folding phone if you can't get an advantage of that big folding display? Not to mention that Samsung also has DeX on it, which basically gives it the ability to turn it into a literal desktop computer, which is pretty darn impressive and it kind of makes this phone like an all-in-one. You can of course use it as a phone, but it can also turn into a tablet with a stylus support and if you have a wireless keyboard, you can also turn it into a mini laptop or better yet connect it to a monitor and you can also use it as a computer. I don't know about you, but for me, that is kind of mind-blowing. Giving this round to Samsung 2, making the clear winner and the best falling phone to date, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you agree with me or not? Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like on this video if you think I deserve it and subscribe if you want to see more comparisons like this. We're closing in on 2000 subscribers, so i really appreciate it if you guys would just go ahead and subscribe. This is Mr. Fantastic and I'll catch you in the next fantastic video.